What's up guys, in this video I'm going to go over 3 websites that you can use to practice SQL interview and non-interview questions and even one Android app that I've used in the past. First off, let's go over the website Stratascratch. Now, if you've watched my past videos where I do these data analyst SQL interview challenges, then you would probably know what Stratascratch is very well. Stratascratch is a very popular website for doing the SQL interview and non-interview question. The website has a lot of SQL interview questions from popular Fortune 500 companies like Meta, Microsoft, and Amazon. There are also SQL problems for different roles like data roles, business intelligence analysts, and machine learning engineers and software engineers. You can also choose to solve the problems in popular database languages like PostgreSQL, MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, or programming languages like Python or R. When filtering for certain questions, you can choose to filter them by company, industry, topics, or difficulty, and whether or not you completed the question. Scratch comes with 75 free practice problems, including solutions and discussions. And if you decide to get the premium plan, then that becomes over 600 practice problems to choose from. When looking at the pricing plan, there are three options to choose from, monthly, yearly, and lifetime all of which provide the same services. For the monthly plan, you would be billed at $32 per month. The yearly plan, you'd usually be billed at $159 per year, but it also looks like you can get the discounts for this plan. And the lifetime plan, you'd only be billed $289 once, and you wouldn't have to pay again. Now, just for disclaimers, this video is not recommending anyone to pay for these plans from Stratascratch or any other websites that I mention in this video. It is up to you to research if you want to pay for these pricing plans um, to unlock additional questions. So if we select a SQL problem to start practicing on, which we can do by going to the coding questions menu here and scroll down, we see the list of questions and just to note, if a lock symbol appears here, that means it's a premium question that you'll have to pay a plan for. So if you wanted to do a free question, then you'll have to choose one without the lock symbol and let's select this one from Amazon and one more company. And if we look at the interface here, we can see the question, the objective here on the left side, along with the hints and expected outputs. And on the right side of the screen is the code editor and the run code and check solution menu, which will show the our output and what the actual output should be. Now, if we wanted to test this out, all this out, we'd need to make an account or we need to either register or log into the account. I guess one con or negative with Stratascratch is that the hard level SQL problems don't feel too hard. I would say they are more for high level medium questions, if that makes any sense. But if you have enough experience doing SQL problems, then the questions would feel easier to solve at a certain point. The next website I have on this list is LeetCode. LeetCode is a very well established website for solving these programming and database problems and is probably even more well known than Stratascratch. From this website, if we click on the database button here from the problems section, we'll get a list of SQL problems that we can choose from. And like Stratascratch, we can also filter by difficulty, status, and tags. To filter by status, which means that if we completed this problem or not or attempted it, we'll need to have an account and be logged in with it. There are hundreds of SQL problems you can do, including a mix of free and premium questions, ranging from easy to hard difficulty. LeetCode also has interview questions from top companies and there are plenty of online resources that discuss these interview questions. If you also get the premium version for LeetCode, then you can unlock extra practice problems, video solution for premium questions, and other features. LeetCode has a pricing plan, but unlike Stratascratch, there's no lifetime option to choose from. So if we go to the premium button here and click on it, we can see the plans that LeetCode offers, which are only yearly and monthly. The monthly plan would cost you $35 per month, where you would be billed monthly. The yearly plan would cost you $159 per year, where it was $299 before, and you would be billed annually. As shown on LeetCode, the plan is probably the most popular option, and converting the annual payment to a monthly figure will give you about $13.25 per month. And if you scroll down, these are all the features that you could have by accessing one of these plans. So let's check out what the user interface looks like when we try to solve a leak code problem. I'll go back to the problem, problem section here, and I'll just click on a random question from database. And let's choose to the combine two tables option here. Now when solving the problem, we get this interface with the problems and examples on the left side of the screen, and the code editor the test case and the test results on the right side. And if we wanted to like 
enter the type out the actual code we can click on the code editor here and we can run our query and submit the solution to see the test cases we can click on this and the test results are here i guess one downside is that the leak code premium plans can be pretty expensive compared to stratascratch and the other website i'm going to mention next but it is a very popular website that's used by a lot of people to practice their programming skills or their sql skills finally the last website we have is data lemur compared to stratascratch and leak code data lemur is relatively new coming out around late 2022 i found the website to be pretty simple and easy to navigate there are a mix of free and premium questions you can choose from and if you decide to go for the premium plan then you have three options to choose from monthly yearly and lifetime access for the monthly plan you would be billed about 15 dollars per month the yearly would be about 60 dollars per year and it looks like it was 180 dollars before so i'm not sure if that's a temporary thing or permanent thing and the lifetime access which you'll only have to pay once comes at 300 dollars and you'll get one-to-one -one coaching and a signed book you'll be able to unlock hundreds of additional sql problems along with other products and features if you decide to get one of these plans so let's go back to the practice interview question section if we want you to filter our data we can do it by category difficulty or status or we can search up the question or company directly and then a list of questions would pop up here like if i type out amazon we have all the amazon questions here and it comes from other categories like python statistics and if you want your sql only you can just select sql here and we have all the amazon questions for sql category i also want to note that you won't know which questions are premium unless you log into your account which i've done here already but one unique thing with data lemur is that you can refer a certain number of friends and unlock additional bonus statistics or sql questions so if you refer three friends you get 10 bonus stats and sql interview questions refer 10 friends and you get the free access to the video course and refer 50 friends and you get the you get to book a one hour one-to-one -one career coaching call with nick singh yes one annoying thing about data lemur is that it looks like a decent number of sql problems locked behind the premium feature especially the hard level questions now that we've gone over the sql websites let me tell you about one android app that i've used in the past to help me practice my sql skills and that app is called sql practice pro learn dbs this is a very simple app to use and is free on the google play store the app comes with about 32 practice questions and is perfect for beginners or anyone who wants to refresh their SQL skills. The great thing about this app is that you can use it offline. So when I would commute to work using the subway system and there's no Wi-Fi connection, then I would use that time to practice the SQL problems instead. A downside though is that the app hasn't been updated in a few years and I believe it's only available in the Android app, although I'm not completely sure on that part though. So there isn't that much to do after solving the 32 questions. So I hope this video was helpful in providing resources that you can practice SQL with. While the websites come with questions that you would have to pay for, there are still plenty of free questions you can choose from. And if you want to improve your skills in something else besides SQL, then you should definitely check out this video I uploaded before, where I talk about the most useful Excel keyboard shortcuts that can help you work faster. As always, if you guys found this video to be helpful, then please like and comment down below what else you'd want to see. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.